How does how is, how is it done? What, what is this that the dubbing? Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> you guys, welcome back to another video. This is your Empress Ruby, Ruby, and I'm back with a, yeah a little bit of decency. You know, a, a little bit of decency is needed here on this channel. So you guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My goodness, my hands are re really tired. Let me see if I can put this camera over here. It's not going to be a bit. Let me see. No, it's not clear. So I'm just going to be holding it. So you guys, how are you people doing? I hope your life is treating you guys great. Let me attempt to make this video and just update you on my life or just like run my mouth here once again this morning. What time is it? I don't know. I just woke up. I just woke up. So this morning, <clears throat> I was supposed to catch a flight to Nairobi, but I failed because I checked flight load and I saw the flight is full. And it was like overbooked by five. So I was like, I don't want to do the hassle of going and coming back because, you know, I'm staff and I'm on staff ticket. So anyway, it turned out that they called me. I went back to bed. It turned out that they called me that I got a seat booked. So I already checked in myself and pulled myself out of the flight. And I don't know what is that going to be like. So I didn't make it today. Seems, seems like there's a couple of people who didn't show up for the flight, a couple of passengers. So there was a flight, like I got a seat for some reason, like, like, like no, from no seats to you got a seat. So anyway, my bad. I didn't make it to the airport. And so, yeah. So um, I don't know. I might go tomorrow. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. So, yeah. Mm, so today I'm just going to do a little bit of shopping maybe just carry if you hear my voice is a bit a little rusty it's because i just woke up so yeah when i when i walk when i wake up i sound like this i sound very sexy 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 no okay <laughs> all right you guys okay let me come back to this video i have my green tea over here with a uh, just loaded with with a lot lots of lemon and i have uh, like just i don't know what these grains are called so just cook plain grains with a bit of salt in it so that is all i'm having for breakfast so you guys okay <clears throat> where do i start first of all let me just address a couple of things okay i there was this girl, I don't know who, 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 who the hell is he at? Like, these are the kind of people that I put my, 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 my jembe or my spoon or my food down or my porridge down. And I go like, Wah. These are the kind of people who needs a very big slap until, you know, you know, when somebody slapped you so hard in your mouth until all your teeth fall off, until your mouth become like, all your teeth, <laughs> your teeth has fallen off. This is the kind of people who need a slap. So somebody has been going, trolling my videos and leaving a lot of nasty comments, like nasty comments. And this, this one girl was upset because she commented on one of my videos and she was basically just asking me, telling me that she is a plan to come to Dubai and she doesn't have a place 
to stay, so she was asking if she can come and stay with me. So this dumbass, I don't know who, she's such a dumb ass. So she was like, how can you just be randomly asking somebody if you can be accommodated in their homes? Like, seriously, why am I even ad addressing this? Like, and then I said, of course I said, um, no, you're not coming to live with me. Who are you? Where are you coming from? Who have you raped? Who have you muggled? Smuggled? Who, who, who are you pimping? What are you? What are you coming for Dubai for? Like, nobody got time. I don't want. So I said, no, I don't want you to come to my house. And then she just went on, like, making, like, div like different posts, calling me all sorts of names. And, like, a really nasty, 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 nasty things. I think most of you must have seen that girl trolling, but she just, like, ignored. So, first of all, she started trolling, but she, she first deleted the, the message where I was saying no. Like, I said no to her, and then she went and started trolling me. So, she deleted that message, so nobody knows where she's coming from, obviously. So, I blocked her, and it was done in that state. <clears throat> so, today... Let's talk about something that I have been thinking about, and it's uh, it's something that had lied with me, like had been with me from like uh, those previous times when you watch my video, you you'll hear how I was talking, how negative I was, like towards uh, black men in particular, towards even thinking of dating black men. So I remember recently, like what is something is bugging me because I feel like. Okay, and another a girl, I think she's been watching my videos. She commented on my video and she was just like, like, I had so much faith in you because she, as much as she liked me as a person, she was just like disappointed with my thoughts, in my thought process. And you know, sometimes you guys, you, most of you write some really profound things under my videos and I'm somebody who don't just dismiss things. I read each and every one of your comments. The ones that are abusive, obviously, I delete them and block them. But the comments, I address these kind of comments. So this girl was like saying that I had so much faith in you. I started watching you so long and I subbed to you so long time ago. But I did not unsub because I had faith in you and I knew that you will come around. She's basically a black woman, obviously, who was very disappointed at the, my tone, like the way I was talking negatively about uh, black men, you know. And she just felt like I had a platform and I can do better. And it's not just because of her. She's just saying that I walk, that it seems like you woke up. And there are a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of, I'm coming to you guys. Please don't give up. Don't give up on listening to me. Sometimes you look at the title and you say, okay, where, where, where are you coming from? Okay, let me just give you a storyline before I proceed to the title. Okay, just calm down. So this girl was just like, um, I would believe in you. I knew you'd come around. I knew you'd use your platform for something better. I knew, you know. So then I've made a couple of videos nowadays. And people have bashed me regarding this video. A lot of people, especially black women or black men, were coming on my videos and saying that, so that now I'm becoming uh, like, a, like attacking and bashing women, which is not true because they are not listening to my videos in, in the, in the open-minded light. I used to be just like you. So I understand where you are, very close-minded and very brainwashed. So that's why you're not ready to listen to anything anybody is saying, you know. You are in a cult, on, in a swirling cult that you have buried your head deep in that whoever tells you nothing, you don't want to listen. All you are looking at is the blue eyes, the, 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 the white skin. That is what you are pursuing so much that whoever is telling you otherwise, you, you are ready to even chop their heads off. That is who you are. That is a cult. And that is a cult. A cult in itself. It is not even a fetish. It is brainwash mixed with a cult. It is deep. So I'm coming to you. Um, uh, so then I was like, when I, okay, when I started making those videos to tell people to be a bit more open-minded and just to say people that the hype that they put, you know, you know those videos, guys. I don't have to go into details. I had a lot of people who are talking really like in a bashing way trying to tell me and somebody was a couple of people were telling me that because i had 
uh, an experience with one a white man disappointed me, dumped me, and blah blah. He didn't want me. So now I'm out here being very salty and and bitter about all the people and looking down at the people who are in rela interracial relationships and uh, yada yada. A lot of things they were saying. I'm not taking it against them. I'm just like on here waking up and just making videos based on my genuine thoughts on how I think about us, you know, the, like the, especially the black women who are hopeful swallows. So one girl, I read to you a couple of times back, there was a, I'm trying to make this video very fast. There was a woman who is a very successful swallow. She's married to a man for 17 years who is white. And in the black community, she was looked down and she was looked at like trash. Her mother spoke down at her teachers. Everyone in her family spoke down at her. Everything, you know, was, and she just woke up to realize that she's beautiful after she met a white man who appreciates her and praises her and all this. She found love. But then she was just, she's very successful. She's not a, a hopeful swallow. She's not, you know, she was obviously just looking uh, for because she had very negative experience with in black community So she was looking out to find somebody who's gonna accept her and she found love in a white man's arm Like most of you are looking out to find love in a white man's arm or in whichever ethnicity arm And then this woman she was just waking walking up and she was saying you know what? I feel like for sure as much as I am in a relationship for 17 years But we have been brainwashed a lot of us have Black women are brainwashed into thinking that white men are sent, God sent our saviors and the people who will only look at us and admire us and take good care of us and be nice to us and yada yada. And when I look at most of these videos, <clears throat> especially let's say for the for the for the Macla Macla like uh, the the twin videos that I made about the whatever the incident with the whatever you know what happened with the Macla twins guys twin mom and twin family a lot of people were just coming and were like oh here you go again you are coming again with another none of your business or you bashing with the yada yada and I was like can you just listen to me for a second from where I am coming from so you people, what I have realized is, because even based on as so many black women are coming onto my videos, or the videos of the black women who are trying to uh, promote positivity in our ethnicity, to even tell people to give black men a chance, or even to look at each other differently, or even with the open-minded. And most women are on here, some of them are making videos like myself. I was making videos just dedicated towards disapproving of black men because in my opinion, they disapproved of us entirely. And I felt like they were never here to protect us or to take care of us. They were here only to, to like, like destroy basically. And I was just like, see, nowadays I see a lot of women are coming onto my videos with this type of comments. And their comments are implying that black women has to go out and just don't waste your time with black men. Only like white men, men from other Hispanic, whatever, are the only good men. You can just find love out there, not in the black community because they've gone crazy. But you know what I think with your mentality is that you have gone crazy yourself. The reason why... It's because there is no point in life that you are going to be sitting there or even using your God-given fingers to type such things if it is not brainwash. I want to come to you for a bit. There is a lot of stigmatization and a lot of bad, uh, uh, like, like people have painted black women in such a bad light all over the place. And most of us act crazy. We do not refuse. But then at the same time, we feel bad when we are painted with the same brush. And we feel bad when black men are making videos specifically to come and bash us and say how trash we are and how horrible we look and how uh, less feminine we are and how yada yada, a lot of all these negative nasty things. But then what gets me is that we have been programmed to hate on each other and to destroy each other. It's no, it doesn't only come from a black man perspective, as in for a black man. It is, it is this <clears throat> hate 
and this horribleness and this uh, bad painting each other with brush because you guys try to listen to me if there was if there was for example you don't want to tell me as a black woman who takes time to type this negative stuff regarding your own ethnicity you don't want to tell me that you have dated the entire black woman black man's uh, race and you have been heartbroken you have been left with children to raise and you are you know you don't want to tell me that you have gone through this with with so many black all black men you know because you have your experience i know majority of them are not acting right i do know and i do not like it when you only paint black men with bad brush not knowing that there is an exception even people are painting black with men with bad brush with the horrible same brushes which doesn't rub me the right way as well because not all black women are out here to destroy everything they touch this is what i want to make clear so the same way i would feel about somebody destroying my entire queens the queens the black queens is the same way i'm gonna feel because it takes two to tangle I feel like there is no way a black man is going to spread seeds all over the place if there is no black woman who is willing to open their legs aimlessly and listen to their lies again and again and, you know, just have low self-esteem to an extent that they cannot close their legs to any walking dildo. It doesn't matter if this dildo was married. It doesn't matter if she was, he was what. It doesn't matter if he did, he did have a very bad past or he did, he did have baby mama drama before. It doesn't matter. We don't get time to use our God-given intuition to actually choose right men in our lives. I have gone out on dates with black men as well. And most of them, some of them have gone out on date. It didn't, it didn't like... It didn't end up okay because obviously I'm not with a black man right now, but it doesn't paint all black men the same. I said even in my video about dating Nigerian men, I said that in that video before I proceeded, I said that some black, some Nigerian men on here are very nice because they have wives in this YouTube platform and they are promoting black love. And I'm not saying all of them, but I'm just saying them majority of women have very negative experience with them and listen to their story and there are some of you who who doesn't want to accept the truth but then again what gets me what i'm, I'm coming from is like let's say the mark makla dad or whatever he did and whatever you know the shondiness was going on with that family drama and everything a lot of black women hopeful swellers defended that man to the T. In the same breath, they are ready to type and say black men are trash anyway. So regardless of this white man, if he did whatever he did, he is an exemption because he is a white man. You know, sometimes I usually realize, uh, to come to think like this. From the time we are young, we have been so much brainwashed. To an extent, the globalist brought to us a white Jesus. And made us to look at, you know, this man is worshipped and embraced and loved. He brought him with blue eyes and long hair and blonde. And we are programmed to, to, to think that this is the ideal of, of love. You know, this is the ideal, you know. And that is why most of us are actually even ready to, to defend it. And they are saying that, you know... Uh, most, you know, you, most white men are this and they are good and la la Not knowing that when you go to jail, any jail in that particular, let's say in America or where there's a lot of diversity, you will find black men in, that, in jails and you find equally white men in jail. Like horrible men come, came in, come in so many forms, you know. There are horrible men in, in, in there are, you know, like for example, most of these white men that you guys are bragging about and trying to protect and trying to say that they are better lovers than white men, black men, it's just that you're pointing black men in horrible brush than the white men because you're saying that they are the only nice lovers. And I differ with this because I feel like when you're painting all men on the same boat and only putting a certain men on a higher pedestal and thinking that they are only the better ones, I feel like you have been brainwashed 
And I, if you hate me saying this, you hate it because you are in denial. And I will keep saying this in my channel. Yeah, as much as you want to paint them as horrible, just know that good men and bad men exist in all ethnicities, whether black or white. We have horrible white men who actually, they hope, the Swala hopeful, some of them, we have this uh, Brit space, she used to be called uh, dating Noels, Austin or whatever. We have ex uh, product, product junkie XOXO, now she changed her name to, uh, to Valencia's Life. She was, she was a, a swirler, right? She was married to a white man, right? And both of these people, do they not have white baby daddies who has left them with this a bunch of children raising by themselves? Aren't they bitter about this, this man? Have they not talked, like, especially for the, for the other one, the, the Brit Nulls, she has blocked everything negative to talk about this white man. She doesn't want to do it. She never does it. She doesn't talk negative about this man. She chose not to. As for other women, they have their experiences. And I'm just mentioning this too, just to let you know that not only black men, men are leaving women with babies to take care of. Men all over, men are naturally just, they just want to release their seeds. They just want to come. They just want to spread. Like they just want to ejaculate so if you are the one who wants to be ejaculated into you have made your sugar world to be a dustbin for them to all tom dick and aries to ejaculate inside ew so this this makes you what does this make you are you valuing yourself you don't and after you've had all these experiences in most black women there is a YouTuber whom I'm not going to mention. Well, I'm going to mention. She's called Sonzere. She's had bad experience with a black man. And when you look at her storyline and how she came to come with this man, I'm thinking to myself that surely, Queens, you can do better. Because there is no way you are going to be with somebody whom you know that they are involved with another marriage or another separation or another whatever you will actually be so drunk in love that you will just remove your panties and have a baby with this person knowing the past that he's got. And then you come crying and complaining that, oh, he lied to me, he blah, blah, blah. Don't you have an intuition that God has created you with? Don't you? Why are you not using it? You know? For me, when it comes to, that is the reason why I'm at my age and I chose not to have a baby, which by the way, I would choose to have a baby like for me, this is how I think about it. I have maternal instincts and this is how I think about it, okay? This is, uh, this is, I'm out of a little bit out of topic, but this is how I think about it. I chose to close my leg from the time I was young because I saw in my community how much girls who are like just opening their legs up down center they are just children all over the place and they are bitter in life raising these children being bitter because the father of these children are nowhere to be seen we have so many of them why because we don't make choices when it comes to men we allow we bring men into our space so easily and open ourselves to these men without even thinking without even thinking and i wouldn't say i would blame black men for being the way they are but then again if i feel like if women were smart to actually close their legs just come to think about it no woman was gonna be is gonna god did not intend for any woman to be single or any woman to have no husband or but men are very spoiled to an extent they can get the milk whatever they whatever time they want so let's say if it was in the ideal world where men were just like, they were just staying with only one man, one woman. And they were only having sex with only one woman. And that is the love of their life. This is how God intended it to be. They find one woman, caught her, propose to her one way, right way, and take her to their parents and marry this one woman, remain with this one woman, become truth, truth, fruitful, have babies, raise the babies right, and continues. 
become great models for these children to emulate. Not running around spreading seeds. And if women were the same as, I'm not giving up the cookie until you claim me, until I am yours. I'm not giving you these benefits. I'm not giving you all this. Then men would be a little bit disciplined. You know? Because they are not going to, they will, okay, what they will do maybe is they will go f looking for sex, they will obviously go and buy sex from the prostitutes who are professional prostitutes who are also doing it. And even if this the closest clothes, uh, shops were closed and the professional prostitutes were not selling, were, were also principled and knew their, their, their worth as women, then we, men had no choice but to find just one woman because everywhere he, they went, the shops were closed. So they will not manipulate anybody. They will not play around with anybody because they know the rule of the day is that you get one woman, you get along with that one woman. If you don't get along, you at least don't get along and you move to another one without even, you know, the woman doesn't open her legs to you. You know, you get to be friends first. Not that you, the, the way of life nowadays is like you, you are meeting somebody, handshake is removing panty. That is a handshake. How are you? Like... You know what I did? <laughs> I opened my leg. Hey, sir, good morning. How are you? When the fans are down, everything, people are doing, doing the business. And then after that, then they look at each other. So what were you saying before we start? <laughs> you guys, <laughs> this is what the world has become. There are people, and you know, and I feel like if it was, it was differently, which is this is how God intended it to be. Things would be different. But because now everyone has no value, people are just going around humping and dumping each other. And it's each other to blame. I don't blame black men for doing this. And I don't blame even... They are also white men who are also going impregnating their women and are burdening them. So many of them. But you will never find them coming to like, uh, like maybe type or even make videos or, or you know type negatives about their own ethnicity. They put it like this, I made wrong choices of bringing wrong men into my life and I have consequences to suffer. I do not have to bash that man for what he did to me. I don't have to bash my ex-boyfriend for what he did to me. It took only one experience with dating a white man, whether it was good or bad, but it took just one experience for me to wake up. You know, to wake up and realize that, listen, all men are the same. All men are the same. As a matter of fact, these white men go divorcing and breaking hearts, women after the other. They divorce two, three, four, most of them, majority of them, and then after they've had all their fun in life, then they run to Africa. Because they know that, oh, African women will accept this nonsense. Why? Because we are brought up to be like, you know, we are like brought up to the lowest and the lowest. So whatever they bring, we will just accept it because this is what we, you know, we'll take it because it's so long as he's white. We'll take this and we'll run with it, you know. And that is why they come all over because they know they come with money, they come with whatever, they come with all these things. And then you will be like, oh, a laptop? Oh, you built me a roof? Oh, you did this? You built my mother a house? Oh my God, you are white and you have all this and da 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 and I'm going to my children. Then you you lose yourself and you let them take their, give their way. And it keeps going and going and going and going. And have you ever realized, like for example, if you are not their first wives and you are not even their second wife, you are probably the third wife that you are running to them, they've been divorced several times. Does that not make them men as well? And most of them are like this. So there are bad, good and bad men in all over the place. Do not bash your own kind to an extent you only feel like dating out like you people, you black men are trash. Da, 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 da. You did not date all black men all over the world. I tend to believe that still there are great black men out there. I have seen a couple of them, me and my friend were talking recently, we came across one great Nigerian man, educated great degrees, great job, excellence in dressing, excellence in every way, excellence in even when it comes to things with relationships. 
He's not taking you to bed until he claims you. And recently my friend, my friend uh, told me that this, she was like, you know, I was, I was, I was in, we, we, my friend, like, I'm not going to go into details, but my friend and her and him were kind of like friends, you know. And I was really like happy when I saw my friend with him because he was like an excellence. And I was just like hoping like hopefully they end up together. But anyway, they ended up separating cities and the guy got a job to a different place and a different city, country. And then the guy ended up proposing to, now he's engaged to a Nigerian woman who is again in abroad. And this girl was just showing me these engagement photos because the guy and her are still friends. And this guy is excellent, excellent man, like unbelievable, like he is a great catch. And this, this my friend was telling me, you know, I'm actually happy that he actually ended up with a, a black woman, like he ended up with a, with a Nigerian woman. Because... He doesn't have, so many of these successful men are going out. They're just successful and then the, all of a sudden they feel like they are better than, you know, like they can't do black anymore. But some of them who are, their minds are really set and they know who they are and they know what they are here for. They are, act differently. I know you have preferences, I know whatever, but you cannot sit there and tell me, oh, I only... Attraction is in the mind. Preference is in the mind. I believe this because it has happened to me. Because when I only preferred white men, I did. And then I woke up to this stupidity and said, what the fuck? What the hell? I'm sorry. I'm, uh, today I am actually uh, sorry. I, have, I don't do this. I don't like, I don't like, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like cussing in my channel. But I opened my eyes and I was like, what the hell am I doing? Like, I cannot be thinking like this and become wholesome in my head. There is a bulb that didn't went right inside my head that needs to come back and be screwed right. A lot of people are like, oh, you, you are bitter. A white man did not choose you. Oh, nah. I'm like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I choose. I'm not chosen. I choose. I'm not chosen. You know, like, you don't just, like, sit there and say, oh, you're not, you know, you know, you are, like, it's not like, it's not like my life is life for, less for any reason. It's not like having a white man in your life is an achievement. There are women who, who are, they're not even swallow hopefuls. They are in relationship with this man. And they know this man. And their minds are open to know now they are in that, those relationships. They can see how crazy people are acting all over the place chasing after this man and they say what are they chasing after yes there are great men in every ethnicity you have to chase but not with these wrong intentions and wrong reasons you only do it because your mind is brainwashed i want a mixed child i want uh, this that i only blah, blah, blah. i only think this is the wild factor blah, 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 blah. and this is crazy way of thinking and you guys i'm not gonna take this video more than this i'm gonna stop this video here and I hope to chat to you guys on my next video. And the comment section is going to be open only until when I see it getting crazy, it's going to be closed. And nobody got time for this. If you like my video, please comment. Please subscribe to my channel. Let's hit 6,000 subscribers. Let's do it. We can do it. You know? And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.